Hey guys, welcome back to another polymer clay tutorial. Today, I'm going to be making Ganon from The Legend of Zelda. We're going to use a Bowser amiibo as the base, and then we're going to add some lighting effects. Let's get started. Alright everybody, let's get this Ganon going. Um, unfortunately, I did lose a lot of the footage of me cutting up the Bowser amiibo that I'm using for the base. Um, here is just a telling of me of me slimming everything down. I had to cut off the shell, you know, cut off the spikes. You'll see that I did have to cut out that mouth to make the snout that uh, Ganon has. And then here I'm just adding on the clay here, just adding a little bit of details. Um, I should have waited on the details because they got messed up anyways. But here I am just bulking stuff out, adding on ears here. Now it's just time to bulk up the nose a little bit. Um, adding more detail here that I probably shouldn't have been adding right now. Um, and then for the shoulder pads here, all I did was roll up a ball of clay and stick it on. Oh, I forgot I left that in there. Um, but here, here's both shoulder pads here. Just uh, pressing them in a little bit, forming them to the body. And I'm just adding a little gut that Ganon has. He has a little, kind of like a little pot belly thing there going on. So I'm just adding on that as well. And then I jumped ahead, but I added on a piece of you know, flat clay, stuck it on. This is like his tabard kind of thing that he's wearing. And I'm just using my color shaper there to just blend that right in. And then I add on uh, two pieces on either side. Uh, this is the vest that he has. You can barely see it in the images, but it is there. Um, and then I, I saw some pictures where like he wore kind of like a skirt kind of thing. So I just rolled out a flat piece of clay there that you see there, and I'm just cutting that out. And then I'm just using my little uh, ball tool there to press it down in there. Um, I did, uh, three per side, I believe, just cutting it out of that uh, flat sheet of clay I have there. And then there's the other side of the uh, vest. And then here you can see that I'm uh, making the peak on the nose and I'm adding in the little wrinkles that are on top. And then I rolled out the two little things of clay for the tusks, sticking them in, making sure that they're like spread out there we go, just like that. And then I'm just pressing them into the figure. And then here comes the drill. Ah, uh, yeah. So I had this idea before I started this whole thing, and I didn't know if I wanted to do it or not, because I knew it would be a lot more work, basically. Um, but here we're going to drill out the eyes, and I'm going to carve them out and then I'm going to put LEDs in there and make the eyes light up. After I cut out the eyes, you can see that the light shines through. Then I decided while I was at it, I would cut out the Triforce as well, which you see here on his hand. So, like with the eyes, I'm just carving out the edges of it first, and then I'm going to take the drill and drill through and then I'm going to carve out uh, the waist. Now here I did jump ahead. I already took the LEDs and I wired them up with the two wires, positive, positive, negative, negative, and then I ran, I drilled a hole all the way through his arm and then down through his neck. And you'll just see me pulling the LED down through his arm. And then I actually hook it up to a power supply just to test out the eyes and I'm happy. And then because I didn't want this to be permanent, I did use hot glue for the eyes. Uh, forewarned, they do melt out in the oven. Now here you can see I jumped back again, basically added on everything that I had to take off to do the eyes. And I'm just uh, scoping in all the details. It does have the two little bands that run the edge right here, as you can see. And then I do carve them out to make them a little more rounded. And then here I'm just adding on his, basically his chest armor. I don't know if it's like a padding or if it's actually armor, but here I'm just defining the chest area and the pecs with the color shaper. And then adding on two horns, uh, one on each shoulder pad. I do add a ring around the base because a new picture that I found, I like the way it looked better that way. It defined the horns a little better. And then I just add the basically the backside of this skirt. I flare it out a little bit, shape it a little bit to make it look more like clothing. 
Now just throw it in the oven for its first bake at 275 for 10 minutes. And then while that's in the oven, I'm just taking some pieces of clay here, flattening them out, and we're gonna make the huge gigantic cape that I decided at the last second to, that I wanted to put on him. Uh, here I'm just trying to figure out the best way to attach this big piece of clay, basically. Here I'm testing out different pieces that I can basically detach it from the whole rest of the figure because I'm going to put a battery compartment back behind there with a switch. Now if you look carefully you can see that I'm getting some cracks in the cape because I didn't put like armature wire in there beforehand but I do have it in the bottom left down there. I just didn't actually film me putting it in because it was a pain after the fact and this thing was so huge as it was. But here you can see I'm just bringing this cape out making sure it flows very very nicely as if Ganon is using the cape itself for some sort of like an attack. Now I wanted this cape to have lots of like dramatic folds and bends and everything in it. Um, so basically just take some snakes of clay, um, lay them on and then smooth out the one side to get the basic folds in there. Then I use bigger pieces to bulk it up and smooth it down. Then I just take one of my wooden tools here and I start carving in folds and wrinkles. And this cape, man, you can see there I had to pull away the figure to get in there. But this cape took a while and I had to do many, many different iterations of the cape, change the folds, I wasn't happy with what I was getting and I had to keep trying over and over and over again. But just stick with it and then you'll wind up with something like this that I'm actually pretty happy with. Now it's time to make the staff. You'll see that I changed to the Super Sculpey, which is the like the tannish color instead of the white because I need more detail and this will hold the detail a lot better. Um, now Ganon's staff, it's more kind of, I wouldn't say like more cartoony. Um, but I wanted to go with uh, like a realistic skull head here. This is the first time I've ever sculpted a skull before out of clay. And if you look at the size of that skull, it's only maybe a little bit bigger than my thumb. So that's one heck of a skull to start with, for that, like size wise. But after working at it and working at it, I was actually very, very happy in the end with it. And here I'm just adding the two spikes to go along with the large one in the middle. And as if I didn't want to torture myself even more with this project, I decided to do a few more skulls. So here I'm doing one on the back, pressed into that plate that I'm going to use to hook the cape to so that it can detach, so I can put everything back behind it. So basically just start out with anything else. I poke the two holes that make the little V for the nose. Then I'm going to add some little sections above the brow, carve in the cheeks a little bit. And again, it turned out okay and I was happy with it. So now this is the third skull that's going to go around his neck. I mean, if you look at it, it's even smaller than my thumbnail this time. I mean, I just start with a little small dab of clay, poke some eyes, do the V again. And then you see me add that little dollop of just a little bit of clay on there just to peek the nose up, push it up a little bit just like that. And then I carve out the nose a little bit more, carve the forehead, the cheeks again, push it in. I mean, after all these skulls now, I think I actually got it down now. So here I'm just using regular water-based acrylic paint. I just got a regular blue. I added some black to it to deepen it up, make it a little darker. Uh, here, you see I filled in the Triforce there. Um, that's gonna light up. That is the Triforce of Power. Ganon has that one, Link has the other one, and you know Zelda has the other one. Uh, you'll see I added spikes to the, his head there. That's just a basic red. And then a little tip for painting larger sections like this is just paint all in one direction. And then when it dries, it will dry really smooth and you really won't see the brush marks there. And then you'll see the ring around the spike there on the shoulders. That's that addition that I added earlier. And then you'll also see that all the pieces have been like sanded and smooth and everything like that, and almost like carved. I didn't want to film the hours of sanding that it took to get everything you know, smooth and clean and everything like that. Um, there's that little tiny skull on his chest. And now for the staff, I want it to look like beat up and really dirty and everything. Um, so I just took some off-white. I just coated the whole thing. 
and then I took some watered down brown and I just brush it all on real quick just over the whole thing and then I take a rag and I just dab it and give it like a texture I do it a couple times and uh, the end result it looks like it's nice and worn and again I'm very very happy with this now I didn't want to get into any in-depth soldering in this video it's more about the sculpture and everything like that but I just want to show a little bit of it I've been hooking it up to the switch to the battery and then gluing the switch in and I think yes it's done Ganon from Legend of Zelda And there we have it, Ganon from Legend of Zelda. I'm so glad that I actually took the extra time and the work to actually drill out the eyes and add the LEDs in there. I really feel that it made it more of a one-of-a-kind piece, not just, you know, makes it stand out a little bit more. And I'm very glad that I actually took the time to do that. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have made it towards the end, please uh, consider subscribing right here. It really helps me out. This is a new channel, and I'm going to be posting videos every week. I'll put some more videos over here and over here. If you want to check those out, that's great. If you don't, that's great too. I will see you guys all next week.